hello from Puerto Viejo, our next stop here in Costa Rica. There are two Puerto Viejos here in Costa Rica, and we are at the De Telemanca on the Caribbean Ocean. So we just rented some bikes from our Airbnb. We're going to go check out the different beaches along the coast. We've got black sand beaches, white sand beaches, and we're also gonna check out the downtown area. It's a really beachy, small, laid back vibe, as well as grab some food in town at a place a local recommended to us called Bread and Chocolate. We're Jordan and Soph. After living in Alaska for almost three years, we decided to quit our jobs to travel internationally for a full year. And we hope that you will join us for the journey. Time for bread and chocolate. I'm excited. So we just got our breakfast at Bread and Chocolate and it was absolutely delicious. They made all of their like bread products homemade in-house. So Sophia got a fried egg and cheese sandwich on a homemade bagel and I got the same sandwich but on a homemade biscuit. We also got ourselves a cold brew coffee with little cocoa nibs in it. We certainly recommend this place if you are here in Puerto Viejo. If you fall, I will follow. All right, so the reason we rented bikes today is because Punta Una Beach is about a four and a half mile bike ride from Puerto Viejo. This entire area along here is just filled with beaches and there's a lot of people who rent bikes to go from one beach to the next beach because all the beaches around here are public. There's no private beaches, there's no hotels that can own a beach on like Maui or some other resort destinations. Now we're gonna head back into Puerto Viejo and grab some groceries for the next couple of days. If they say it's too late we just stopped by this little supermarket on the side of the road. It turned out to be a really toasty day. So we got a bunch more water, we got bread, and we have some peanut butter to put on our bread. So now we have the essentials for the next few days while we're here. Whenever we're hungry, we can just make a little sandwich or a little toast at the Airbnb. Now we're set to head back into town to check out all the little shops in that area and a few more beaches. So right now we're at the Black Sand Beach, which is right next to Puerto Viejo. As you can hear, I'm right next to the ocean and there is, I think a marching band practicing behind me. Not really sure what that was about. We swung by there. It did look like a fun little time, but still not quite sure if it was like marching band practice or if it was just them out there playing, having fun. Either way, a lot of good beach vibes around here and we are gonna head back on into our Airbnb. When we were planning our trip to Costa Rica, we had originally planned to go to Tamarindo to get that beach life feel. However, we were recommended to go down to Puerto Viejo because it's a little bit closer to the Panama border, and that is actually where we're going next. And after being here for only a day, I can already say this was the choice. This has been 
an amazing time out here with all these different beaches and just this amazing weather. It was supposed to rain all day today because again, it is rainy season. However, again, another day with very little rain. Now to get down here, it was a little difficult. We had to take about a four and a half hour bus ride from La Fortuna down to San Jose. And then we had to take about a five hour bus ride from San Jose all the way here to Puerto Viejo. However, the cost for each person to do that was only about $10. Now you can get a shuttle from La Fortuna all the way to here. However, that's about $60 per person. It does go a little bit quicker. It saves you a little bit of time. However, we're trying to do things on a little bit of a smaller budget. So we decided to do the bus service, which wasn't too bad. After biking around all day, doing about 10 miles on the bikes and just being in the sun all day, we're gonna go cool off in the Airbnb pool and relax for the rest of the night. We spent the rest of our time in Puerto Viejo just relaxing, swimming, going to the beach, and spotting howler monkeys in the trees. We hope that you enjoyed our time here in Puerto Viejo. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. See you in the next one.